Okay, we're going to use this deck adapter, which consists of a mass and a base, with some components left over from our satellite installation. We took the base out that was mounted here before, a satellite base, and uh, bolted this part in. And it fits right into the holes using the same bolts that were there for the uh, satellite and uh, big lag screws that it came with. These insulators that are on the roof are for sealing purposes and those were also the original installation and we just left those on. I'm just using a half inch ratchet on this. It'd be nice to have some power up here. And so on and so forth. There's six bolts so we'll get all these down tight and then move on to the next step. Okay, now we're leveling our mast. I've got a magnetic level on here, which is kind of handy. And then all we have to do is tighten these, these lower bolts. And there's, a set of the, there's another one on the other side. And that's tight. Make sure your level is still good. And tighten up your top one. Okay, we're solid. Rock solid. So here's our mast extension. It's a four and a half foot, foot long piece. And there's an adapter that came with our kit that's going to slide inside of the tube. We'll have to drill a single hole in there and run a bolt through it. This bolt right here that it came with. I'm going to end up clamping this, making a little vise here and sharpening up my drill bits with a drill doctor in order to get the hole drilled through this very hard material. Okay, tighten it up. Okay, this antenna was in storage and I'm screwing the two halves together front and the back. We aren't going to have to wire this because we're going to use the existing coax from an old satellite installation. Just have to get at the connections. In this one there's there's four Phillips screws that we'll take out and then we'll be able to get at the, uh, the coax that we're going to use to wire up our uh, off-air antenna. Take these two covers off and you're left with your LMB here. You just disconnect this and use the uh, video cable. And these are just 716s. So just turn the three of these off. We'll find the one that we want to use that goes back to the house. Okay, so there's the LMB all loose off. Okay, this is, the, this is the cable we're interested in, the double. There's one that has a ground on, so I'm going to snip that ground. This coax cable with the, with the print on, that's the one they used in the house, so that's the one we're going to wire up to our antenna. Okay, so we brought in our coax from the satellite dish that's already wired up to the TV, running through the house, and then we're just going to attach it to this transformer. 7 16 tighten it up good. Got a zip tie on here. Okay, now we're going to pick this assembly up to the top of the mast. Put that clamp around the top of the mast there and tighten it. Okay, so you want to find out where your transmitters are. Ours are to the north. And point the front end in that direction. And then tighten it down. Deep well. On this one, it's 7 16 
should do it. But all we have to do now is just dress the cable a little bit. We'll get a couple zip ties and zip tie it to the mast. We'll tune our TV and we should be all set. Okay, wait a minute. One more thing. This diplexer, which is a, a satellite device, uh, is blocking our off-air antenna signal. So we had to take this out and put in an ordinary splitter. Like this. All right. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can get here out of this. Going into the setup mode, go into search for channels, select antenna, and see what's out there for us. What kind of interesting HD channels we can pick up. And we had good, good results with our satellite for the last three years. Just want to try something new. Okay, so we're about 45 miles from transmitters. That's why an ordinary indoor antenna wouldn't work. I pulled in six channels. And that's about what I expected. So we've got all the networks and then a few additional channels, digital channels. And there we go. We're going to enjoy a little bit of free TV. Thanks for watching.